Aloha, Nira Shaimase. Welcome to Sub Sapporo Dosanko Life. This is Chad and Jamie hanging in Sapporo, Japan. Thanks for joining us. If you're back and like what you heard, please support us and hit that subscribe button. Mahalo. All right. So, episode 10. All right, episode 10, Kampai. Here's where we go. Kampai. Green Kampai. label. 70%. Or 70% some yeah. shit on there. All right. I'm pie, guys. I'm pie. Right, All right. We got a special guest today. We do. We're with like one of the OG, triple OGs of Sapporo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Not Sapporo. Of Hokkaido. Hokkaido Asahikawa OG. OG. <laughs> Where'd you start off from anyway when you first came here? Oh, Sapporo. what's your name first? Sapporo. Mike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget your name, dude. Mike. My name is Mike. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, cool. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Mike. Oh, nice to meet everyone. So, so Mike. Yeah, I started uh, up Sapporo. So, 2004, 2005. What brought you here? Uh, I met my wife in, in Hawaii, in Oahu. So, then we... Uh, I decided to come here. Me and my friend came here. And then he, we were just like, ah, let's go see what happens in Japan. And then the rest is history. So, <laughs> pretty much. Your friend's so, still here? No, no, he left. He went back and now he's in Kentucky, I think. Kentucky? I know. Whoa. Yeah. I know. Well, the girl that he, what he ended up getting, he met. Yeah, it's a long story, but he um, friends, and then they decided they ended up getting married, and they she got a good job in Colorado. She was like working as like a in the hospital administration, whatever, cry insurance. She has like a degree and shit. So, but she, I think now they're like in Kentucky or something. But so, but yeah, he didn't like. He only lasted like a month here. So what? <laughs> Just One month. A- <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like I had uh, my wife, right? So at the time we were just engaged, but he didn't really have anybody here. So he was That's like, even worse. He was single. Yeah. yeah. But he didn't have work and all that. And mm. I ended up getting hired at a small school. And then uh, I got slowly went up to like, I went to IAY. I worked there for a little while. And then I worked as like an ALT in the junior high high school and all that so but mm. he didn't have that he didn't want to do that so he he left he's yeah. all good yeah yeah oh, that's good so, he's doing good now yeah. yeah he's got it made now his wife makes shit loads of money so <laughs> he doesn't have to do any but he well cost well, of living in kentucky, kentucky, kentucky like yeah yeah they got like a huge land they built a pool and all that so yeah so, nice. he's doing good so yeah. i don't yeah, know what he worked he does but uh, selling some it. mushrooms huh like it? in the mushroom business yeah Colorado. no that's what i need to get into uh, yeah man let's microdose together and then do a podcast <laughs> oh shit we're podcasting from the other side of the moon right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah man so you've been here since 2004 and then how how long have You've been in Sapporo before you, you moved to Asahikawa? I was in Asahikawa, Sapporo till 2010, so about six years. Oh, um, nice. And came up here. Yeah. Yeah. To Asahikawa. Then so, which do you like better? Oh, mm. oh good. Man. What's that? Which do you like better, Asahikawa or Sapporo? Um, at the time, I was thinking, well, Asahikawa is, what am I going to do there? Because we're going to be living in, I knew where she lived, she lived in. We live near the zoo, right? That area, yeah. the Yasha Psychikawa. I thought Sapporo is easy to find work, but I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to find work there. So I was working actually. I didn't work at first. I got like hello work, right? The, the unemployment because I was working for the Interact when I left. Oh, Interact. Um, you went through all those. You went to Interact and earlier you were telling me you went to, um, what was that other one? Nova? No, no, that was here. I was working for um, 
part-time online teaching at Skype. Ah, uh-huh, I see. But, but I mean, I knew people that worked for Novo, so they didn't, and they weren't too happy when all the guys <laughs> went down. So. Super Novo, right? Yeah. Champagne <laughs> Supernova. <laughs> Champagne Supernova. Ooh. Yeah. Do, do you recommend me. Interact? Yeah. Do you recommend Interact? Like a lot of people Bug who want that. to come to Japan. <laughs> Bug that. <laughs> I didn't even oh, have to. Yeah. But Interact is owned by Cellnet. Cellnet, I think. And they're owned by the, you know, who owns Cellnet is uh, the, uh, the guys from the latter day, whatever the crap those fuckers are. Oh, really? Mormons? Mormons, Mormons yeah. Interact's if a Mormon you, company? Well, from what I understand was Cellnate is owned by the Mormon Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, some, something like that. Cellnate Inc. and then Inc., they own Interact. What these guys did was they came to Japan a long time ago and started offering free English lessons and then they ended up somehow starting the company. Oh wow! Interact like has the market on all the junior high work. So, so the junior high schools in yeah. in Japan so, are yeah. being brought to you by Mormons. Well, it's like I don't know if it's like a like a side company or what. I don't know what you call it. Like like mm-hmm. a, what is that? A, subcontractor or something like that but that's what somebody told me i don't know if it's true i don't i don't want to start conspiracies or anything oh wow uh, i'm intrigued up, with this if you look up sell neat s-e-l-n-a-t-e i think they're owned by the mormon church so it, it's some kind of history with that but but it's not oh, because of that i don't like those people it's just the manager was an idiot that the guy that ran hokkaido hmm. was a dummy so and they like cheated us out of money so yeah just like uh-huh. nova did with their people yeah. well they interact with nova were, yeah you know, oh, go ahead yeah, they paid 250 a month but which is good but when you had the vacations you don't work but they only pay you like 180 160 they, they would take 70 they would take 25 or 30 percent of your money I which didn't. is i guess it's not a bad thing because you're not working so yeah, yeah. We're getting 180 thousand, but you know, but the thing is, is they're telling the, the city, like they get the contract from the city, so the city pays them like three hundred thousand, whatever a month for each student, each teacher. Yeah. And they pocket all that money. They give us uh-huh. 180 during the vacations, but they're still getting their three hundred thousand in a month. So that's how they make money. So. Uh, yeah. Um, there was yep. a big side you know, scoop. So. Shaft in. <laughs> Shafted. But, I mean, I didn't have any. I just didn't like the, the yeah, all that bullshit training that they made us do. And yeah. I don't know. And the sales stuff too, right? You got to sell stuff yeah. too, right? Yeah. Well, not really, but I had to go do this dumb training every two or three months and make you stand up in front of everyone and do a fake lesson. It's just like oh, you're in front of a bunch play. of teachers. It's just like fucking role and, play. They, did they serve um, coffee at these fake lessons? Yeah. Oh, they don't serve coffee, man. It's Mormons. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, the, like, they, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. Yeah, I know. Man, my, my not, goal I mean, in life. Hey, hey. Hmm? What's that? I think one of, one of my goals in life is to get a Mormon drunk. I've done that. Oh, really? Girls. That's not a very that's not a very uh high high uh kind of goal yeah. there. You know? Why, you know? That's like a pretty good goal. Do. Yeah, that's not that, that's, that's not too high, dude. Uh, is it easy? Yeah, they, 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 yeah, if you wanted to make them slam heroin or something, that'd be a fucking higher goal than that, you know? Okay. Mormons Maybe mushrooms. Worst. They're the worst. I was in Texas when I was in the Air Force and these guys were fucking crazy party for people. So, really? Yeah. Like oh. high school kids and like they because they're so I don't want to say it's sheltered they just want to yeah. go nuts. the girls especially you know then they eighteen and they get out of the house they just go want to get and it's like, and all that so yeah rabbit everything they have the, they have their book of Mormon whatever they call it so yeah okay I think that's magical that that, yeah. that, that no, goal I mean, I'm not, horrible. Yeah. 
<laughs> that's actually if you want to hook up those are those are the easiest people to <laughs> <laughs> chastity belts i don't know no chastity I, belts it's magic underwear dude yeah they were magic underwear yeah technical yeah whatever. yeah i don't know about the wing but yeah so but these right. are, yeah anyway hey mike so so where you're from dude what's your background well, I was born in uh, Georgia. Yeah. Augusta. Yeah. Augusta, then, I know that uh, place. Yeah. And moved to Hawaii when I was about four or five. Then I think when I was about eight, my parents got divorced. I went back to Georgia with my mom. And then actually, I think she got divorced when she moved back. I don't remember. My dad told me, but she ended up, she got cancer. She passed away when I was 11. Oh, and then I moved weird. back to, back to Hawaii. My dad got hmm. custody. So and then from there I was in the air force and I did all that. I went to Alaska. And so, but, but mainly Georgia and Hawaii and now Japan. So nice. Yeah. So me you too, man. Uh, uh, yeah, I know you told me. You, you spent like middle school and high school in Hawaii then? Hmm? Yeah, I went to Monolala Intermediate and Monolala High School. So nice. I went to Washington Intermediate for one year, Lunalilo Elementary. So. Oh, you went to elementary too. Washington? Yeah. Hey. I, w- I should have, act- you know what, I, I can, sw- I swear to God, Dwayne Johnson was there when I was there because he went to McKinley, I think, or he was supposed to go to McKinley. No, he he went to McKinley. Yeah, for like yeah. a year. Yeah, but he's the same age as me. So, but I would have went to McKinley. I think he might have went to Washington Intermediate when I was there. I'm not sure. So, yeah, I used to teach at McKinley, and uh, my teacher, my like, was he like department head? He. He was trying to get the library named after, after him, because he, like he he was looking through files and then the library there had no name, so he was really trying to do it, and he hit a roadblock. Like he he finally found like oh, there is a name and he couldn't name it. He was so disappointed. He really wanted to name it the Dwayne Johnson Library. <laughs> Man, he didn't even he he went to like. Connecticut or something, right? He moved back to the mainland. Right? I don't there, he was in Hawaii for a short time. Hmm? Yeah, he was in Hawaii for a short time, right? Yeah, Not too he long, was right? there that long. I think he was there like a year or two. So that's it. I don't. Oh. I I don't know. I mean, I know his grandfather is is Samoan, right? His yeah. Dad's a black guy, so mom is Samoan, maybe. Yeah, his mom is Samoan. His father was black. Samoan, yeah. So. Mm. His father was what Rocky was a Rocky Johnson, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. The wrestler, yeah. yeah, yeah. Passed away a couple, like a few months ago. So they had the yeah, yeah. thing, and then all the wrestlers were there. So, and his daughter actually trains at the wrestling institute now. His oldest. Daughter. Oh, really? Oh. She's like eighteen. She's she's pretty big girl. I mean, like obviously she does wrestling, but yeah, they, they showed him like show up and he was teaching him some moves like he shows up in his daughter's training and he's in there like throwing elbows at her and doing the people's elbow <laughs> on his <laughs> but she said she was so happy he doesn't take it easy on her right so it's yeah. like you know so. family beatings the family yeah. that wrestles together right yeah so. nice but he's like he went from that from he went from the bottom all the way to the top so I you know from living in Canada and live, having to scrounge for a crappy old mattress to making $50 million a movie. So, so well, whatever he makes, I don't know how much he makes. But. I haven't seen the, there was like an Instagram post uh, a while back where he was just sitting in front of his old house in Hawaii, just like mm-hmm. sitting there and watching. And he was like thinking, man don't don't give up whoever lives in this house right here don't give up this is where i came from and stuff and he made like this whole inspirational message yeah man that guy's positive as fuck (laughs) he trains like a beast so yep uh, and he's rich yeah he has his own traveling gym like he brings his own gym wherever he goes for movies or whatever he has his own gym 
Like they will fuck literally ship his gym to wherever he goes and he trains. Damn. So I know he's on he's on some serious gear, but you know, I mean still he still has to work out and he's a crazy yeah. workout guy. So Yeah. Mad gym money. Fucking portable yeah. gym money. That's fucking dollars, dude. Yeah. You I got mean, mad gym money, man. You can see when he does his training, it's just it looks like a normal like a commercial gym, but he has it all brought because he can't go to a normal gym and work out by himself at a public gym, you know, like a, a member gym. People all the people it's going to swarm him. Yeah. yeah. So 24 hour yeah. fitness, right? Yeah. Like his fucking bench pressing like, shit over there. He's hardcore, right? He doesn't want people bugging him when he's training. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> give him that fucking stare. Um, yeah, actually, um, yeah. you're, you were supposed to come to Sapporo yesterday. Yeah, we were all supposed to hang out. Yes, yeah. we were. Coronavirus. We were hang out in you. real life, yeah. not online. <laughs> that, yeah, that sucked. Dude. I really want to go hang out with dude. <laughs> yeah, he, you, you like um, hooked up the reservations at a place. We we're going to like yeah. the Hawaii spot. What was it? Aloha Amigos. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. It's a fusion place, right? Yeah, it's like Mexican and Hawaiian, the best food in the world. Uh, North Bay, North Bay, so, yeah, dude. Oh, oh well, Mex- and then the thing is, is the guy Eric, um, the guy that was going to hang out with us, he messaged me yesterday and said, "Hey man, do you still have the reservation?" I'm like, why? He says, "If you, I know you can't come, but if you still didn't cancel, let can I borrow it?" Because he said the place is booked solid. What? And I was just like. I guess coronavirus don't give a fuck. Like, people don't care because it was like 30 degrees and it's outdoors yep. and it's a beer garden. Fuck yeah. yeah. Well, you so, got all those people traveling here from all over the fucking country too, right? It's just they open, yeah. they, they, they're they doing the discounts for like travel and shit now. So like, yep. people exactly. Eating cool. up here, especially since Hokkaido has the best summer, uh, you know, in Japan too, you know? Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Have you experienced like Tokyo summer? Fuck no, that bro. shit. You've never bro, been, been there in, in August? I've been there in September, I think. September is better. I've been to Tokyo twice in summertime, July and August. Oh, my God. It's like 40 degrees. Wrench. Yeah. I've been to Tokyo. um, Where is that? Harajuku? I went to Harajuku. We stood in in line for three hours to get the Turkish, I don't know if it's Turkish, but those, the rolled ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like... Oh, like they, Cold Stone? Yeah, kind of like Cold Stone. They have like that Cold Stone plate and then they make yeah, it all yeah. flat and they roll the ice cream. Uh, but it's yeah, a three-hour yeah. wait. We did it for my daughter. You guys Not lost like two kilos, right? Waiting but it was, it was the hottest day recorded in Japan. <laughs> and the girl in front of me there's like this high school student, bro. She fucking just, she just dropped. Like she, she had a heat stroke. And then I, me and my wife were the first ones to react, react. Like we like grabbed her and she's kind of like twitching. So I, I made sure she didn't slam her head. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? man? call, call, call the ambulance. <laughs> like no one's doing anything. Everyone's just staring. Mind your own business. Yeah, but they, they called the ambulance. And then when they called the ambulance, they said, there's no ambulance right now. Oh, all the ambulances are busy. It'll be yeah, about 30 minutes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the thing in Japan is they ha- you have to, if you get sick or you get hurt, you don't want to be in it. You don't want to get picked up on Amazon. You're not going to make it to the hospital. <laughs> That's what my friend always <laughs> You don't want to get injured here because they don't have... They have to go to certain emergency rooms. Some yeah, yeah. Closed. So if you get shot or something happened, you cut your arm and. So let's be real here. Rough. You're not gonna get shot. No, you I know that. Stabbed. You know what I mean? Yeah, you might get stabbed. <laughs> well, you you borrow money for the yakuza. Yeah. So, yeah. Like my friend basically said, if you don't want to get injured seriously here and have to be in an ambulance, you might not make it. Back to the I'll let you make it to the hospital. I I don't believe it. Damn. ambulances stop at the intersections here. They do, and they they say thank you and bow. 
I've yeah. seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii, America, they they can turn the light off here. They yeah. they don't they don't do it. They just kind of look because the people don't have to stop here. I don't know what the yeah. law is. But, well. Right? It, I think it, it doesn't help that people don't people don't pay attention here when they walk across the street and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. uh, the 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 idea that I notice here is everyone's uh you, your you trust everyone's judgment kind of like I know some people cross the street they don't even look they just cross the street and don't even look here. Yeah, I hear New Yorkers do that. I don't know about no nah, I don't know about that man but like fucking people here a trip that's a trip man like they kind of feel like you're you're your um you don't even worry you, you, you oh everyone should see me kind of like it, it's so weird man like yeah. i'm looking across the street and you know making sure cars are not coming and stuff and people are just like walking like without even looking huh? uh, yeah man i i'm happy my kids don't have to cross one of those huge ass intersections yeah like there's a there's a bridge like every every so often around like in the cities they have like these bridges for children to cross but sometimes yeah. they don't have them and they really gotta oh coming in hard is that you, you hook up your um yeah, headphones it should work it's on but i don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna <laughs> work or not. we'll see what happens is <laughs> sound coming from there though <laughs> yeah i don't know if it'll work so all right I have right. the microphone hooked up, so I'm not sure if the the, the headphones on, but hopefully, yeah, hopefully, yeah. I, I hear myself. Yeah, I hear my yeah. oh, echo. Yeah, probably better just to turn it off. I'll see. I got to get a better microphone. So, <laughs> all good. Oh, all so right. Mike, so what are you doing for work, man? In, in a cycle right now? My own. I run my own school and then i work at like uh, two or three hoi quins or yojins in the morning okay. morning times so not every day but that's uh, mainly what i do and huh. then i work part-time sometimes doing the, the newspaper stuff so how did you um start your own school you want to tell the story again uh how, how you came about your own school well i was working part-time in a kindergarten here and then just wasn't really working out and then we decided to like uh we had the house that we're in now obviously it was we hadn't reformed it yet but we had an extra room her father-in-law was like you should start your own school because this area there's no foreigners so you could probably get a lot of students so and we put out a couple ads in akari akari they uh free newspaper they have akari in sapporo or is that only in asahikawa maybe akari? It's like a, a penny mm, i'm not saver. familiar with that i've never seen an akari we, we have this other thing i forgot the it's name probably different maybe it's a, yeah. a, okay, it's, another, it, it's the same concept just a different name yeah. yeah that got me a lot of students and then because and then i started making way more money than i was doing the other jobs so and then it was on my own time you know i set the times and everything so but that's how i started so yeah yeah and it's crazy like um wait hold on jamie yeah. where are you uh, there he is. Right now. Now, um <laughs> and he's back he's but um back for the attack. it's crazy how me and mike first met um was actually. Oh, how'd you guys meet? I don't remember. I remember you don't remember? We, you don't remember how, don't we met? how we met, but then how did I find out? So you usually come down to Sapporo, and I think uh, you were searching for um, good Hawaiian restaurants in Sapporo. And then maybe yeah. a few weeks before that, I went to this. This place I I kind of go to, it's called Hale Lounge Ohana. Oh yeah, I like that. Uh, place. I left the review there um, on, on my Tumblr or my website. I think it was on my my English school's website too. Mm-hmm. So you saw it, and then you clicked on it. I guess you saw like, oh, this guy's from Hawaii. Um, yeah. You you messaged me on 
I think it was Facebook. I don't think it was an email. This part I don't remember. But I think I think it was Facebook. You messaged me. Hey, I'm Mike. I'm from Hawaii too. I'm coming down to Sapporo. I live in Japan. And I, I just want to know, was that place really good? Or is there another Hawaii place you recommend? Uh, let's hang out sometime. Stuff like that. And I messaged you back. I messaged you back. And that, that's how we got started. <laughs> yeah, I think it was... Yeah, yeah. I think maybe my wife saw something about there was another school. You had a yeah, school. Because we had like pretty much the same name for our school. Yeah, it was, that's what I think she saw. Or maybe oh. it was something to do with you doing the hula stuff underground. Or not uh, underground. Maybe <laughs> something like that. Yeah, yeah, it was something like that. So, But then you ended up hanging out with us because I had, that's when I hurt my knee. And then. I remember the first time we met, it was like the hula show. My wife had a hula show, but we were going to go drink after. So you came to like our hotel with your kids. Ah, that was, um, so hung out, I, think. I think that was like the second or third time we met. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think it was the first time. That was the first time? Because we went and oh. drank at the, like near Sapporo Station. Yeah. So I think that was because you showed up at our hotel room and then my kids were there and kids were acting like assholes. So (laughs) (laughs) you're, you're at the time, man, your, your boy was funny. That guy was so yelled at him. I was just like, he falls down and gets hurt. I'm like, see, that's what you fucking get. Do it again. So (laughs) so. Hawaii style. (laughs) (laughs) But then we had the happens? taxi to the to the restaurant. I think you and your daughter had took off running or something because you guys couldn't fit in the taxi. Something like that. I don't remember. So yeah, I, I remember think that was actually the first time we got drunk. We drank, and then a few times, like I came down and I met you at TK with my friend, was the Canadian guy. That yeah, was yeah, like yeah. Three years ago, uh, and to Susquino, and you. Where did like, we go after TK? We went to Booty. But you, oh, were doing, you, you were shadow boxing in Booty. Was I? <laughs> <laughs> you were Girl, fighting I, Tyson, right? I went, you were fighting I Tyson? So blacked out. Man, oh, I we, no, we, nothing. No, we went to Havana because uh, my friend, a Cuban friend, was there. And then there's another guy. There's a, there's a, a Cuban guy that in Sapporo. And he ran... He ran um, El, Mang- El Mango, that, that Cuban bar. I don't know if it's still there. But Is that at Tinecology on like the second floor? Havana was on the second floor. Oh, okay. Oh, I've been there before. Yeah. yeah. I've been there once. So There's a Cuban guy there and it worked there and he was in the Olympics with judo. Hey, I know that guy. The, yeah. He's kind of older, it's, right? Yeah, but he is solid, dude. That's I, I know his dude. nephew. His nephew is yeah. my friend. Yeah, yeah, bro, that guy is solid. That guy is solid. Yeah, he like he's like judo, 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 so he's an Olympic judo guy. So it's just like, and um, yeah, we met. We were talking with him at Havana, and then I think we went to Booty after that. So no memory. They got you all amped, they got you all amped up, and you were start shadow boxing. <laughs> <laughs> was that was there the Moroccan guy? I don't there? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't rem- no one remembers. I I know at Booty there there used to be a Moroccan um, bartender, like he was from Morocco. Yeah, but the owner is French. I know that Sebastian. I think he's half. I don't know, but the guy that runs Booty. Oh, but the Moroccan all- guy, he, he, oh. he, is it the same guy that uh, started a uh, gossip? I don't know. No, he he was a he was just a bartender. But I I, I don't a big know. dude, big guy. Kind of, kind of big, maybe. Is yeah, that? I, I think that might be. He, I think he's like gossip. He, I think he's I think white. He right? Owns gossip, huh? He's white, the Moroccan guy, or like like uh, skin yeah. wise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's him. Cause then I, I was just confused. Cool dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool he he was cool. He was talking with me. He knew I was drunk as fuck. So. <laughs> Cause you're you're boxing. Dude, that's why. Bad place. Yeah. It's a bad place. Yeah. I mean, like the the guys that 
that work there is Bart the body or uh, the staff, the like security guys. You don't want to fuck with those. Those dudes are all heavy into MMA. Like there's one yeah. guy there. Like he he cornered Ray Sefo when he fought in fucking Pride. One of the <laughs> Samoan guys that worked at Booty. He like, oh, oh really? yeah, I gotta go. I gotta leave. He's like, I can't work this weekend. Oh, I'm gonna go. I, corner I think Ray. I know this guy too. Is that Johnny? Dude. I don't know, but he like took um, some dudes out in the middle of the street for giving them shit. So it's just like, it's not the kind of guys you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they like hire, and there's like this Japanese guy that's short that is solid. He fights right, and then yeah. And most of They're the like, MMA that kind of guy here guy, in so. Sapporo is all underground. Um, y- yeah. Yakuza sponsored shit too. Like one yeah. of the go-to MMA places. Uh, I think it got shut down maybe two years ago. Uh, a lot of my friends used to go fight there, but oh, you mean underground fighting? Uh, I mean, it wasn't really underground. It was like I think it was second, <laughs> <laughs> but Frank but they <laughs> Frank wrote that there's um oh. this left wave fighter who's named Dukes. That guy is badass. <laughs> Dukes, hey, you you gotta be good with a name like Dukes, man. No. But you know what? I found out that Frank Dukes is a bullshitter, man. That in real life, there that guy was fake. Oh, Frank film. Dukes? Yeah, he wasn't. Yeah, that guy's full of shit. Yeah, the real guy. Like the movie was cool, but yeah, the real but, guy was. Of course, the movie was, was Van Damme. Yeah, suppo- yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that guy said he had like fucking two hundred fights or some like yeah, undefeated yeah. or some shit, and he was in the, uh, this underground um, yeah. fight thing, right? Yeah, and he two hundred fights. Bullshit. But if you watch his video, dude, go on YouTube and t- like look at Frank Dukes, man. That, that guy is like a full on bullshitter, dude. I mean, yeah. he's like, I'm surprised Real. he's not blasting key balls at, at people and shit, you know? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's like one second knockout, and it's like, how do you knock a guy? You can't even reach him in one second. So, yeah, yeah. Well, so, anyway, okay. but. All right. So but, let's. Um, the, real, the, real, the real Korean guy in the movie. Like yeah, the, he said that the because Bolo Young, he's not he was big, right? He was steroids, yeah. obviously, but he's not that tall. He's short. The real the, the bad guy was like six six or six five, and like this huge dude in the movie. So I don't know how mm-hmm. real. That's what Frank Duke said, but we don't really know. So maybe he was, but that's just like it's like Jack Reacher. The real Jack Reacher is supposed to be six six and all muscle but, uh, and blonde. The and Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> so but I liked the movie. I thought Tom Cruise did good. It's just I didn't realize the real Jack Reacher was this really big dude. So yeah, but he, he Tom Cruise grows like two feet on screen. So does dude. They all do. Like TV makes you fucking huge, dude. Yeah. You ever meet some of these like these like, celebrities, bro? They're small as fuck, dude. I gotta give him credit. He does his own stunts. Yeah. Like he hung off the side of a freaking airplane for the in Mission Impossible. Like he yeah, did crazy. that. That was real. That wasn't fake. So it's just like, yeah, it's how can the, he get clearance for that? Power of Scientology. I was just about to say that, dude. Scientology works, man. How does he get the? Because you, Ron L. Hubbard. Yeah. Wouldn't the 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 say the studio be against that like the insurance and everything yeah i i guess it depends on like the how how risky the the stunt is because i know like uh yeah there was that was it that um stunt from cliffhanger with uh sylvester stallone it was like they they did like that crazy stunt that they only did once it was like super fucking dangerous really with the raccoon I, 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 they were like, oh no, that was Ace Ventura. Sorry, that was Ace Ventura. Yeah, raccoon, what the fuck are you talking about? Raccoon, like fucking Pete cliffhanger. Poppy. You mean the one where the lady fell off the, like in the beginning, where his, the guy's girlfriend was hanging and he tried to catch her and she so, fell? I, I think they were like sliding the between, the, yeah, they were sliding between two planes or something. Ah, that's different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the one where the lady fell, I think that was the raccoon spoof scene. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like uh, one minute countdown. Yeah. One minute. Count- oh, all right, we gotta restart this. Uh-oh. Um, let's restart it.
All right. Uh, I'll invite you back. Sup, sup, horo, do sanko life. All right. Let's go. Diggity bam. All right. We're back. Okay. Action. So, so, uh, Mike, when I was talking to Jamie about, um, yeah like the lifting weights and stuff. And then he was telling me, it's funny because a lot of the Japanese bodybuilders in Japan seems like they don't do any steroids at all. Oh, they do. Do really? they? I can't fucking tell, dude. If they're bodybuilding, if they're IFBB pro, they have to be on some stuff. Because... <laughs> Why? Have, you can't physically get that big just dieting. <laughs> Like if you there's like there's this guy if you go and check him on on Instagram not on 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 YouTube he's called uh there's two guys there's one guy I think he's half Japanese and I I don't know his name I think his name is Eric something but he's a uh, there's a guy called uh Kaneken uh, I think his name is Kanek Kanek Kaneko that's his name but he has his own gym called Kaneken Fitness. He's an IFBB pro. If you want to be an IFBB pro, you have to take something. So, because this guy is so ripped, and like he has like six percent body fat, and he's oh, just like, wow, he's what? Ripped. It's like you know, I mean, and he speaks English really, really well, and like he can speak like fluently, but that doesn't have any reason. But he, I don't know. And then they see, they, I see all the Japanese guys with them. These guys are all just massive. It's just like they have to be taking something. So there's no testing or anything. Well, they don't really test for IFBB because they're all on something. So <laughs> there you have it. If they test, every, if they test everyone, everyone, everyone's, everyone's fucking <laughs> fine and fired, right? It's like, <laughs> no, I mean, like, uh, if they're going to test people like, um, you're not on steroids. I'm sorry. You can't join this group. Yeah. I mean, like if you want to win, if you're an IFBB pro, like basically that's like the, the tell all. If you're on roids or not, if you're an IFBB pro, you're, you're on some, you have to be, to be that good, to be that high level. It's like the runners, the, the, the pro runner, the guys that win the gold medals and stuff, they're yeah. all on something. So they're not, you don't know they're on it, but they're on it. Like so, you think, Usain Bolt, come on. You think that guy's on steroids? Yeah, I think it's so. not. It's not because good. Genes. There's, That's a there's bold a guy. Theory. Well, there's a guy. There was a there was a guy, and they would call him the doctor of well, I don't know what it was, but he got arrested. Some some. Uh, oh, the Russian guy? No, 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 not that guy. There was this American guy. I think he's he's Hispanic. But he was like the, they called him, I forgot his name, but he became an informant for the government. So he like said, anybody that can run under 10 seconds is on something. Damn. If meters. If they run under 10 seconds, you can't physically run that fast without taking PEDs. That's what he said. Yeah. And he like was like a scientist. Like he prescribed programs for these guys and he was making shit tons of money doing it. He got caught. So, uh, I don't know. I don't and, know. If and it's of course, oh, yeah. Seriously. So. Well, and, and of course, they don't want to do investigations with that shit because I mean, they're gonna find out fucking you know, like all these people are doing How shit, right? Usain Bolt's three teammates and his coach get busted, but he magically doesn't take anything and he runs nine five. No one's ever come close to that. So it's just like, ah, come on. <laughs> and he's six five. It's not good genes. A guy that tall shouldn't be able to run that fast. That's just physically impossible. But, you know, anyway. The thing is, is he's got a long stride. But when you're running 100 meters, that's a sprint, right? And he he's slow in the first 60, and then he can run it. He can just catch up in the last 40. But then he blows by guys. That's just – he was taking something, but all those guys take something. So mm. – just like but I, I don't know that for sure. I guess I should put an asterisk and say that. <laughs> speculating, <laughs> speculating. Yeah, yeah. It, and it wasn't Wheaties that they were taking, right? Yeah. It was a special supplement. So yeah, special found, something in the fucking Wheaties. Yeah. They injected in their <laughs> ass or something, right? Vitamins. Yeah. yeah. So Why is it an ass thing, though? Do you, is it like 
ideal to take steroids in the ass cheek? I don't know. I just saw a movie uh, where they injected steroids in her ass. Because uh, it's the, the muscle tissue. It's the easier. It doesn't hurt that much, I guess. And it doesn't show as much on the oh, side. That's a good point. Uh, it doesn't show. They're not going to shake your ass. Thing. I think it's uh, the, the tissue. It's just basically what it is. So. Uh, I see. And, so, yeah, it's always that. I, I thought it was for like dramatic effect, you know, like when you're in the show, they play the 80s montage movie. I mean, those guys work out. Yeah. You don't want to do it in the same place all the time, but you know, so I don't know. So I had a friend in Hawaii that was on it. Like he was a skinny guy, and all of a sudden, this guy's huge over one summer. It's like, come on. It's like, <laughs> it's like, that's just not eating fucking eat, uh that's not yeah, you didn't get arrow, hit by gamma arrow. radiation dipshit yeah. but it was yeah. was he um playing in any uh competitive sports no no he was just he just uh, wanted that, to get, he was always so skinny and he just wanted to get big and he ended up getting hit it so and but then he got off of it obviously but someone there was a rumor that he was doing that so did did he get a uh, side effects? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, but I don't know if he did it for long. Maybe he just did one cycle. Maybe I, I don't know if it's true. But I saw no. pictures. And I was like, "Come on, that's just like that's not natural." So, <laughs> so, uh, I don't look at Ronnie Coleman. Oh yeah, that guy's fucking. He said he was natural till he was thirty-one. He was an IFBB pro before that. I was like, come on. Yeah. How about he's, uh, got, he's got a metal fucking cage in his back because his spine is all screwed. So, What do you think about Mario Lopez? What about? Is he, ro- is he rocking the steroids? Mario Lopez, you know, saved by the bell, dude? That guy? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't think so. He wasn't really that big. He was just... Uh, uh, but that guy is on the fountain of youth because that guy still looks the same. He's about 50 now, right? He's just, I know, but he still looks like the same guy. <laughs> I don't understand it. Well, he sleeps in a fucking cryogenic chamber or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kelly Kapowski did that shit to him. Yeah. And <laughs> Wait, Kelly, was that the no, stripper one? No, 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 no. That, I'm sorry. That What was the fucking, what was her name? Oh, Jesse. 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 Jesse's yeah. girl. The stripper oh. one, right? The one who showed her tits. Showgirl. And then, and then yeah, that. showgirl. Was that good? No, I only no, remember no. like a minute of that movie. Okay, it depends what you mean by good. Like, are you looking for plot? No. If you're looking no. for like boobs and, you know. Yeah, like, Vegas. You know, that kind of stuff, <laughs> Vegas stuff, then yes, it was very good. How about the screech part? Especially if you are. Any of those? <laughs> no, no. Screeched by the bell or something? Some shit like that? No. He did, man. That guy went, that guy went nuts. <laughs> he had the perfect name, too. Screw it. <laughs> no, no, no. The real name was like a porn. Oh, name. Dustin. Dustin, <laughs> Dustin Diamond. I mean, yeah, come on. That, does, that yeah. does sound like a, um, a porn name. Yeah. Like Dustin Diamond. Dustin, Di- Dustin Diamonds. Dustin Diamonds. <laughs> Right, that must be psychologically. You imagine that he he must have been like so fucked up in his mind because he had to play like the ideal geek. And he wanted to show some masculinity and then just fuck girls, and he did it. Good for him. Is that so wrong? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's let's get back to Japan. Oh, off the deep it. end there. Off yeah. the deep end, man. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta bring this back. Let's bring it back. <laughs> All right, bring it back. So Asahi Kao, dude. Yeah. So man, like, uh, what's your take on Asahi Kao? What do you think about that place? You're like our, our Asahi Kao kind of like uh, dude. I like so. it. It's actually not. I mean, now that I live here, when I go to Sapporo, I just realize how crowded Sapporo is. So yeah, yeah. And it's a much bigger, but the only thing is the nightlife. Obviously, is not as good here, but. Yeah, that's not really that bad. Is, is there a nightlife at all? Yeah, they have a place called San Roku. San Roku. San, is that like San, the Suskino of like Saikawa? Kind of, yeah, that's where all the, the the bars and stuff are, pretty much. Mm. Yeah. 
and they have like this kaimano coin which is like the downtown that's kind of like a small version of tanuki it's not covered but it's kind of like this shopping arcade that they have where's your uh favorite place to go where's your spot i don't really go you need to go out i mean there's a few places around here there's a couple like a izakaya i go to and then downtown they have the foreign bar like i used to in bar like the Den, that's famous. It's been there for a long time. Oh, Den? I'll, yeah. Yeah, I'll usually go there. And then there's a couple other places. Is there uh, like a lot of foreigners where you live? I mean, probably there's a couple hundred in the city, but the, like teachers, not that many. So mm. It's usually the same people at the bar. If you go to the, the Den, it's usually the same people. That's yeah. why I've been there, been here 10 years, and it's always the same people. So I don't miss much. When you say here, you mean like a side cup? Like, oh, yeah. Um, Toro is different, obviously, but yeah, yeah. And then, so what's your favorite? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. No, no. You, what were you saying? I don't know, stop your tr- strange I thought. I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> go ahead. so uh, as far as like uh, places to eat, man. So, like, uh, what place would you recommend to eat the side cup, dude? Well, if you want to eat ramen, go to the ramen village. But I wouldn't go there because it's too crowded but now it's okay so, <laughs> because but, of I mean, COVID. it's famous it's famous for the ramen but yeah uh, there's a there's a place called diamond burger that's supposed to be pretty good it's famous like big burgers and then mm. there's that fire burger place but then there's also there's a couple of uh, my wife's i guess i can mention my wife's family restaurant if you like yes weekend. that's what we yeah, want dude it. what's <laughs> yeah well, what's the what's the name onogi oh, oh, no. what is it famous for yeah it's named i think it's the name of the restaurant is named after the great grandma so oh, it's that, that's, that's how it got the name it's after the the great grandmother i think onogi. Onogi, the like the kanji too like when i show it to people they have a hard time reading it. i guess there's a few interpretations yeah, but it is onogi. Onogi. There's a ki and a ki. So I don't yeah, know exactly yeah. which one it is. So I, I see. What kind of cuisine is it there? What was it famous for? English is chicken. But they have like the chicken sukiyaki and they have like fried chicken and then the grilled chicken and all that kind of stuff. So the main yeah. thing is chicken. So nice. What is the, nice. the number one uh, recommendation for your shop? Probably the Chitoriyage, which is the fried one, because you can dip it in the special. They have salt. They kind of they make the salt and then mix it with stuff. Just dip it That's and eat good. it. That's the most popular. Yeah, they I stopped by once. Food. Thanks for hosting us that time. By the yeah, way, yeah. I think you had the yeah. lunch set. That was pretty. Yeah, we had the lunch set, yeah. and you guys hooked us up with something too. I, I don't remember because it's been a while, but you guys did hook us up with something. So thanks for that. Too. The, the, uh, the sake, they have a special, they have a connection with uh, what's the name of that sake. Uh, Otokoyama, that's a famous sake in Asahikawa or in Hokkaido. Oh. And then Onogi has their own label. Like they, they have a partner with, with, uh, so I think he might have given you a couple of those bottles, maybe. I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah. No, it was, it was great, man. Yeah. And the so food, how old is that restaurant? It's, well, in two years, it'll be 100. So. Whoa. 100 in 1922? 1922, they opened. Damn. That it's is like crazy. Four, four yeah, that's right? nuts, man. Yeah, it's one of the most uh, famous... Uh, chicken shops in Asahikawa. It's very famous. A lot of people know about it, right? Pretty sure, yeah. It's in the Michelin Guide. It is in the Michelin Guide. That's right. Stop being modest about it. You'd be, you'd be like, press <laughs> Michelin Guide, bitch. What the fuck? Yeah, promote it. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll put the links in the in the uh, description and stuff for you too, dude. Yeah, I'll, I'll hit that place too. Yeah. www.onoki.org.org yeah we'll, we'll link it we'll link it we'll put it in the description okay so so 
I saw you go on. Like, is there anything maybe a lot of people don't know about, or what would you recommend, or kind of hidden things about a psychology you like or you recommend? I don't. I'm not sure. I think. Uh, I, should they? Well, I don't really know anything hidden. I mean, most people come here for the zoo or for the ramen. That's the main things. Or maybe like. Like the locals go, the locals go to certain places or something that you'd kind of recommend the rest is like the touristy kind of places. There's some restaurants and stuff downtown. And then there's like a craft beer place that's near the zoo that I, Oh really? I think it's new, but it's like actually outside the zoo, the main gate. It's like a small, <laughs> like, it's, like it's a, at the zoo. Like, no, no, no. I mean, it's, it's near the zoo. It's near the zoo. It's like, the Asahiyama Zoo, right? But outside yeah, yeah. the main gate, there's like this. They have those, you know, those containers, like a like shipping, a shipping container. container? They uh. have like a shipping container. They turned it into like this restaurant, and then they have like you can sit on the top outside in the summer, but they they brew their own beer. Oh, so cool! Nice. They have like fruit flavored and different types of beer. That's a couple of beers. So, and they also make ice cream, like fresh, like gelato. Have you tried and it? So, yeah, it's pretty good. Nice. So, oh, what what is the recommended beer from the shop? Well, they have Pilsner, or they have, uh, I think they have Hefenweizen, a wheat. Oh, so. nice. Bro, Jamie, beer. he also makes his own beer too, or he he used to. He said he stopped, I, but I have a like a. Like the Mr. Beer, like it's famous for on home making, but I have like a small little eight liter keg that I used to use, but I don't have the time right now. And um, when was the last you, time you made your own beer? Probably like four years ago, three years ago. How long? So, yeah. Well, the last time you probably were up here. So man, when when I went up there, you were you were deep in it. You're showing me your room, and you're talking yeah, about temperature. Yeah. And I was just like, bro, where's the Heineken? <laughs> <laughs> just give but me the, a beer. So pop it open, dude. Well, the, <laughs> it's, it's fun, though, to make because you can make any kind of flavor you want. There's like, it's yeah. limitless, right? So, yeah. And you, Matt, can put, you can raise the alcohol level in there, too, right? Yeah. Can I make some, stout, make some stout stout Nocto beer. Yeah, you can, you can probably do that if you wanted. So. Really? I have this. Uh, I don't have the picture here, but I have a, a, a like a, it's like a cooler box that, that you can make. A, a student of mine is like a carpenter. Like they said, they would make it for me. You can put a nice. bunch of kegs in there and temperature, like the thermometers and hanging and stuff. So keep it, and he would line it with a, a thick uh, fiberglass or whatever that is. That's the danitsu. That's what they call it. Don Nitsu is, is the, uh, it's like fiberglass that keep it cool inside. So, hmm. and then uh, you could check the temperature outside. The thermometer would be out the digital outside. So, yeah, if you want to do that kind of stuff, you can do it. But nice, it takes a lot of work. So, I just rather so, buy so Heineken. Heineken's probably easier to buy. <laughs> 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 but so, it's something I got a about, question for you. So something I, about making your own beer is fun. So yeah. yeah, I agree, man. I actually that sounds like a fun fun thing to do. I wouldn't mind making my own beer. And it takes about flavors. it's the, the hardest part is the first one because you have to wait for the first three. It takes like two or three weeks after you bottle it and put you have to put these little sugar drops in there because that's what makes the carbonation. And then mm. you have to wait, let it. You don't use the shushu machine. Hmm? You don't use the shushu machine. No, I mean you could probably do that, but I don't know. Like if you want to make homemade beer, I don't know. Like like great beer. Yeah, that's cheating. I make some shushu machine, dude. Homemade beer has all that powder at the bottom that like the the hops and stuff. I love that. I like hefeweizen. Regular beer like this, they clean it out. So, mm. like, so when you drink that homemade beer, it has all that crap at the bottom, and they keep that and they use it to make the new beer. So, oh, that! Wow. I, 
yeah, I mean, the, the really good guys they do that. I, I'm not, I'm not that good. So. Oh man, I, I tell you, I, I try to make some like a uh, Hokkaido style, like Hascap beer, or like some like. Yeah, uh, I've, I've drank Hascap beer. Have you drank those? Oh, yeah, how was it? No. Otaru makes some Hascap beer. Like they have it they seasonally. Have... Oh. Your favorite Otaru, place. Bro. Is Brian, oh, great. Brian still in Sapporo? Brian is right. there, right? He runs, he's a manager of Otaro Beer. Oh, <laughs> oh that place closed, dude. <laughs> oh, the leap the, in the, there's, a, well, there's a restaurant in the, I think, parade building. It's called Lip, Lips. Lips oh, it's, it's it, oh, Jamie got some sad news for you because that was yeah, Jamie's. Brother, dude, but, that, was my, that was my place, dude. That was my five hour Nomi Hodai place. That place closed, yeah. man. They closed? Yeah, it's closed. Yeah, dude, they closed last month. Hmm? Uh, they closed for how long? Forever? But, yeah, Forever. dude. There, there's Forever. only Otaro, Otaro beer in Otaro Forever. now. Right. The guy that runs that, he, the, huh? he's the guy that, he's like the manager of uh, uh, Otaro beer. Like, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a nice Otaro guy. Beer. Brian, yeah, he's from Oklahoma. He's a cool dude. So. Hey. He, uh, yeah. He, he get pissed at us because we'd smash the beer cans. Uh, we'd smash the beer glasses by accident. We'd come pie and just fucking shatter uh, the glasses. Yeah, yeah. He would. That would be not good. <laughs> but he had a good Nomiodai system. And oh, his, dude, his beer was great. It's five like, hours, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. five hour Nomiodai was unreal. That was that. That's that's a uh, my mine and my friends from Hokudai. That's our stomping grounds, man. We were so that, sad to see up. That was Jamie's legit spot. Like, yeah. but he was so hard for him to like see that news. Like he took it hard. He, yeah. They closed recently because of because of Corona. Yeah, because yeah, of, dude. Uh, this, they couldn't yeah. keep up the business. I mean, Otaru oh, yeah. one is still open, but yeah. the o, the it's Odori true. one is is done forever, forever. Yeah. Uh, as far as Japan itself, uh, what do you think about living here? What, what things do you like and what things you don't like? What's a yeah. lot of stuff I don't like. I, yeah, yeah. I like the service, I guess, you get at the um, uh, like the city hall. Everywhere. Stuff. But there's like, like those little micromanaging things that are irritating. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. The so, bureaucracy and stuff too, right? Yeah. I mean, the, it's just that they can't think for them the certain times. Like, you just follow no, the rules. Yeah. You can say it. They can't think for themselves. Like I, I know, I know this. My my father-in-law, for example, to, to just today, we said buy some green tea. And it, he he couldn't buy green tea because it didn't say green tea on the thing. Like they follow it to that extent. Like we we have to literally <laughs> say, buy. Was that? like each one buy each <laughs> one like we have to specifically say buy this so i understand yeah. that 100 percent. well I'm, but i mean i understand they they're it's, it's like you keep my wife said if you don't know where you're going just follow the people so they just, that's what people do so follow mm -hmm. yeah is that advice or is that advice what not to do what is this I don't know. I could be both, I guess. I don't know. Like, I mean, <laughs> just to, like, common just sense. Guys, people follow here. So, not everyone does. Um, so, yeah. I'm definitely bringing mushrooms the next time I visit you. <laughs> <laughs> I, are you sure you want to um, cancel that out? Uh, cut that out also too? You never know. Uh, uh, this wait, is mushrooms from? Fucking, I love shiitake. <laughs> 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 wink, wink. <laughs> I was hoping that I could get to Sapporo maybe in September, but I don't know. It depends on if I don't think the Corona thing is going to be even dying down by then. So yeah, it is. It's it fucked up, man. Yeah, I, what's going? You know, I'm I'm wondering like how long is this? Are we really going to be like this, man? You know. Well, I mean, even oh, like God. in the U.S., like now, Fuck. like the like college football, they're talking about. They're doing conference only. They've never done that. And then there are the, the Pac-12, which is like the, all the West Coast teams. They've got a group of players that are like, you know what? If you guys don't do this, this, and this, we're going to fucking not play. 
It's like, and yeah. it's supposedly hundreds of players. So that's going to screw in Oregon and USCLA. And USC. <laughs> They're doing like um, how the UFC is so, doing with like crowdless games and stuff like that. Dude, all the games are going to be crowdless. Oh. They're not going to have crowds for football games. They can't. They can't have people in the stands. But crazy. They're like, that, that, that's a given. But it's just like, yeah. They, these players are like, if you don't, this is America. The Japan, they wouldn't do this. But the American players are like, we want this rule, this rule, this rule. So the corona is not going to go away anytime. Maybe another year or two. Yeah, well, they need at least a year and a half to get back to home. Hey. No, I'm not. I, I'm I'm pretty sure we're canceling our trip this year. I'm. Oh really? It's sad. Yeah, I'm ninety five percent sure because Hawaii's numbers are going up, Tokyo's numbers are going up. Actually, yep. Hokkaido's pretty okay, but I think they're going up for now, dude. Yeah, Once yeah. yeah. Gonna fucking There's gonna be a around. fucking boom. Yeah. So Hawaii, Japan's about to get that. The U.S. wave is gonna come here. <laughs> so. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one we get the U.S. wave. The government here was just kind of like being like a, you know, not being as serious about it. You got you gotta go uh, closer to the mic. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah. The All right. Um. Third wave. You wanna like close it up? What what? Is there anything else, some last thing you want to say, Jamie, before we mm, uh, part way? Hmm. We need to get together and fucking have some alcohol. That's what I need. Yes, yeah. we do. Fuck yeah. I'm done. Right. Some Man. major bombs. <laughs> Bro, I'll drink fucking... I will drink fucking rubbing alcohol right now with you guys if you guys want to do uh, that shit. Every time I drank with Mike, I fucking blacked out every single time. <laughs> every single nice. time. Nice. Th- 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 those are realistic, like nice goals I like to go for, man. Especially right now. I mean, it's been a while since I drank. I've drank, you know, you know, have decent amount of alcohol. Fucking tonight, I had like, you know, I, I think I've had like three beers, like max, the last like six months or some shit like that. You know. Shadow boxing. Shadow boxing, really? Shadow boxing. Yeah. Fuck the shadow boxing. Why would we drink until we fucking really box? Fucking just I want to box. Up. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm down with that. Bring your Russian friend. Fuck that. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right, man. Everyone, thanks for joining. Um, check out check out Enogi in Asaikawa. You, oh, you what's the place too? Mess it up. You're in English school. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Plug it and in. What's the name of your in. English school? Hmm? What's the name of your English school? Oh, my school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're in Asahikawa and you guys want to have fun studying English, check out Ohana English Studio. We're in Higashi Asahikawa. Yeah, man. If you want so, some good chicken, yeah, yeah. come to Onagi. You can. Come study and then you can oh. go eat after and drink beer. So nice. best of both worlds. Oh, yeah, shit. I'm I want to move to the Michelin psycho. Michelin star, <laughs> Michelin star chicken, folks. Some Michelin star. Fucking alcohol and fucking learning English. I met uh, I met what's his name uh, the Aki, the Yokozuna from uh, what he came to me. No, no, no. Uh, Hakuho. Ha- oh, Hakuho. the recent Hakuho? really. Yeah. No, that was like six, seven years ago when my daughter was born. But right before she was, my wife was pregnant with my daughter, and Hakuho and Kyokutenho came to Onogi. Really? Oh, I'm oh, sumo master. That is such well, a great segue. <laughs> well, he, um, wow. There's like, there's like a, uh, I guess the, the wink, wink. The, what is that? The um. They're from Mongol, right? So they had like a Mongol society meeting in, in yeah. Osahikawa, mm-hmm. somewhere near here. So they came to our restaurant and they just went straight to the airport after. So nice. But I got family, so we got to take pictures and hang out with them. So oh, cool, hey, man. I thought I was tall and I was like 95 kilos at the time. This guy's like 6'3, 150 kilos. 
but he's what? solid. So right. <laughs> sumo wrestlers are like they're like giant baby children. But they're he's not really, he's really tall, but he's not really that fat. He's like a lot of muscle. Yeah, bro, a yeah, lot of them are. Really a lot of them are. No. Even no. even like the ones that looked fat, they they were really flexible and they had that shit under the f- fat tissue. He was sitting down on the ground with doing the splits when he was sitting at the yeah. table because he can't. That is, leg. Not, he's, he's that is crazy, man. man. That is crazy. Oh, so, so, but he's a nice guy. And then uh, Kyokutenho was funny as hell. He was drunk ass. Mike, Mike, come on, let's go drink. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, no. I'd be like, all right, brother, let's go. Bro, bring the sake. Bring the sake, bro. Let's go. Bro, you got to call yeah. me for that kind of stuff. I'll, I'll keep them drinking. Not yeah. with those guys. Those guys would drink you. Under- <laughs> those guys are huge. Yeah, They'll <laughs> eat you and drink your ass on the table, right? <laughs> Give me my Heineken. Give me my Heineken. <laughs> Just got to make sure you don't have to work for the next couple of days, right? Hey. Take vacation. No, just six hours, yeah. No, 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 no. Sumo wrestlers, bro. Nice professionals. Guy. So, yeah. all right. I mean, yeah. okay. Um, yeah, man. Everyone, thanks, thanks for hanging with us today. We're all right. Good times. Shoots. Later. Peace out. Later. Mahalo. All right. That's it. <laughs>